Visit our fabulous sponsor, Ka Gold Jewelry, link in the description below. Hello fabulous Aries, welcome to your horoscope for the month of May 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw, thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We do have an active sky playing out this month, but the key really is the changing of energies with major power players on the move most notably leaving your sign and moving into a part of the sky that does have to do with finances. Now you add to this a, another more profound energy that's gonna ask you to redefine wealth on your own terms and move yourself towards greater intimacy than you've known before. So there's a lot to talk about here. Let's start with right out of the gate, early in the month, right around the fourth, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet, we will have this month's new moon. This new moon is supremely harmoniously connecting with other power players. It is one of the best new moons that I have seen in a while. And it is happening in a financial part of your sky, having to do with money that you earn and money that you spend. Now, it may not only be related to money. This is a part of the sky that has to do with self-esteem and self-worth. And it has to do with understanding your own value, even if it's just for yourself. Well, this particular new moon is going to be speaking in harmony with Neptune. That brings an element of good karma and dream come true kind of energy, but also speaking in supreme harmony with Saturn and with Pluto. That brings a sense of achievement, of accomplishment and success to match the financial gains that can be made at this time. Now this energy is furthered by the fact that it is going to be this month as well that both Mercury and Venus will leave your sign and will move into the same part of the sky that the new moon occurs in. And as they do, both of these planets over the course of the month will be connecting with Uranus in the sky. And so as much as there is this wonderful development around the new moon, it is as we get beyond that, that it can feel a little bit like, uh, on the one hand, there's this element of surprise. For some, it may be a little shocking, but it is ultimately part of what is going to move you towards feeling that greater sense of success and ensuring that your finances match your sense of alignment with a higher, more loving vision for your life. This is going to be an overriding theme that you are going to experience throughout this month and increasing interest and focus where it comes to these very areas that I mentioned. Now it is gonna be later in the month, in the second half of the month, that we are going to have a full moon. This full moon is happening right around the 18th of the month, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet. It will be standing across the sky from Mercury, but also speaking in harmony with Pluto. But that connection with Pluto, it's what astrologers call a wide orb. So what that means is, it's not as precise a connection as some other connections can be, like the connection that this full moon will make with Mercury in particular. However, what that says is that the energy is there, but you've got to consciously choose to tap into it. So a few things come to mind as I look at this, with this full moon taking place in a part of the sky that has to do with your relationship with financial institutions, anything from grants, loans, bursaries, insurance payments that you may qualify for, income taxes covered in this part of the sky as well. But there's a deeper layer to understanding of this part of the sky in addition to the financial. It has to do with sharing. It has to do with resources, and that includes spiritual and emotional resources. It has to do with feeling genuinely and deeply known and cared for, for who you are most authentically. And so yes, for a lot of Aries out there, chances are you are going to have to find yourself addressing some financial matter, maybe interacting with a financial institution. For others, this is gonna be a time when you are more focused on the transformation that you wish to experience in other areas of life, psychological or physical. And for others still, there is going to be this sense of appreciation, perhaps a surprise moment that has you seeking balance or considering another perspective, but it is ultimately leading you on a path to know 
that you are valued and that you are cared for. And in this way, this part of the sky is associated with wealth because wealth is so much more than financial matters. It has to do with where you are in your state of spirit and just knowing that you are provided for by a wise and loving universe and through others as well. Now this part of the sky is connected to intimacy as well. So when we're talking about intimacy, well, of course we have to talk about love. For those of you who are open to meeting someone new with a full moon like this late in the month, well, anything superficial is just not going to cut it it has to be something that you feel deeply and there is that possibility here that an interaction may seem a little bit um a little simple on the surface a little detached on the surface but is actually deeply meaningful and can serve as a point of or a catalyst of transformation for you for those of you just getting to know someone, this is an important full moon, again, happening right around the 18th of the month, because this is going to reveal some truth to you about this person. You're getting to know them a little bit more deeply and you are being known by them as well. But this full moon can also be very all or nothing. It has to do with endings that you know you are ready for, that you work towards. And if it is that you have recently connected with someone, and it is possible that this may not be the right person for you that will become clear at this full moon and for those of you who are in an established bond a full moon like this can sometimes speak to your partner's finances so that may be an area that comes into focus at this time and it could be that there are uh, some conversations or some negotiations happening for your partner on behalf of their finances but for all that this can also be an incredible time of just knowing each other more deeply connecting with each other more honestly and thereby strengthening the bond that the two of you share what i love about this month for you well look there is a lot here but what i do love is that sense of connection that you are increasingly moving towards about your own self-esteem your own self-value and approaching yourself with a greater sense of self-regard. You are placing greater value on what it is that you give to others, to the world, whether personally, one-on-one, -on -one, or in a larger sense. And as you come to some very valuable insights and perhaps some surprising awakenings, you are led on a path towards truly appreciating just how rich you are. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to nadiashaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.